Five this holiday season is the first one with Missouri's Wayfair tax in effect. That's a sales tax for online purchases that match the sales tax you'd pay at a brick and mortar store. Joe Hickman has a look at its possible effect on government funding. It was January 2021 when Governor Mike Parson signed the bills at Springfield's Max and Jewelers authorizing Wayfair taxes as Missouri became the last state in the country to place a sales tax on internet shopping, charging a tax on out-of-state businesses who have annual online sales in the state of at least $100,000. We should be taking care of our small businesses in the state and they should be a priority. And that's exactly what this bill does. For the more than 570,000 brick and mortar stores in Missouri, like JL Long Traders in downtown Springfield, admit that companies with no physical presence here are now being treated the same as they are when it comes to being taxed. Yes, to have any type of level playing field is helpful. It definitely does help to know that small places like this can run up against an Amazon, bigger places that really have their shipping, their delivery down. We just box it up all here in store. And JL Long decided to offer online merchandise itself six months ago. We really want to be kind of a destination shopping, but people have gone online. There's just no way around it. It's still a pretty small percent, maybe 20%, but we have a skincare product out of Springfield and our soaps out of Stratford. It has a big following online. No one from the city of Springfield was available for an on-camera interview today, but they did tell us that Springfield residents are paying a 2% tax for online goods now on top of the state's 4%, and that Springfield has seen a $4 million increase in revenue that includes new online shopping income as well as other sources. The county is getting nothing from the Wayfair tax. This is essentially the use tax, which was placed before voters in Greene County several years ago, and it did fail narrowly. Uh, and so therefore, um, Greene County is not authorized under the new law to collect the sales tax. So it's roughly $7 million a year that is not collected in the county. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.